So, uh, we we'll have to speak, uh, think about a lot of because if we, if we go to the south and maybe later if we want to go to, the, to Nepal, for example, is in the north of India, maybe the way is three, four days by train, by bus. Because India, India is like huge. <laughs> I found also a group on Facebook of like climbers down there, so like maybe we'll be able to hook up with someone or something like that. <laughs> I pulled an all-nighter last night, no, and I haven't no, done that no, since no. college. So my idea is, we are here in Mumbai. My idea is in Pune. Pune. Yeah, we have uh, two places where you can do sport climbing, rock climbing. So we can go to Pune. We can be there some days, in the same time we we can decide it. if we go to go, we want to go to Badami, we want to go to Goa, or directly we want to go to Bangalore. There are 28 direct trains from Mumbai to Pune. I don't know if you could see that or not, but they are literally painting on four right behind me again here. Like right there. On four pieces of I don't even of like wood, not that not even a trunk. Just like on four branches. So with the camera I can make like everything that passed through the beginning go by like like nothing happened. But the real story is Nothing goes as smoothly as that. Slight language barrier with like 70%, 90% of the people. Once like four people are trying to help me take that taxi, now it feel kind of weird taking that taxi. So then we go like walk around, try to get in a different one, we try to get another one, and the taxi driver just says, no, you can't get in this taxi. What's she doing over here? And then the last one we go to get in, he goes, okay, that'll be 100 rupees. And we're like, why would you tell us the price beforehand? Why can't we just take the meter? You can see my eyes right here from sleeping zero hours last night. They have huge bags on them. So it's even harder. A little bit more time you need, but we have time enough here. We have one month in India, it's fine. Okay, so last night we were looking for like a place to sleep. We didn't really know where we were going. We were kind of lost and confused. And then, Ohm over here said, why don't you hop in the car with us? We'll find you a place. And we ended up crashing at his place last night. And now he's playing hooky and he's not going to work today. And we're going to visit, uh, where are we going? Lavasa. What is it called? It's Lavasa. It's Lavasa. It's a city, man-made city. Uh, in the center of, uh, in the heart of mountains. Do you have blue sky here then? No man, I've never seen that. There's no blue skies here? No. That's crazy. Just from the pollution. 
as you're landing in Mumbai, in Mumbai, it's like, like, we were, we thought it was a really foggy day, but no, it's just white because there's no there's no blue sky. <laughs> GT. Is that not normal here? No, not that normal. You're super stoked about the Mustang. I'm stoked about it. Look, there's like 20 people on a tractor. <laughs> we have to get down somewhere. I think you can get out from These are all people's houses there? I think nobody has purchased yet. Maybe people will purchase, but usually you can rent out. Recording this. Oh, uh, you're capturing the moment. But these homes over here, these are all new? I think so. I'm not sure, but... They don't, like... Nah, I'm just saying they don't look that new. What do you think the population of this place is? I'm not sure, man. Come. I'll take a selfie with you. I'm being forced to take more selfies. Okay. The home just told me that that these houses for were for rent for like 9,000 rupees, which is like per day, which is like a decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. And he says, but it's okay because you can sleep 20 people in there. <laughs> it's a three bedroom, one hall, one kitchen house. 20 people. They'll give like 10 people in the one bedroom or something. What are you doing? Indians, Indians are king of selfies. He's open camera. It's no, it's his selfie post. <laughs> what kind of food are you thinking? Uh, I think we should eat rice, or we should try bread, or want eat noodles. It's super good. It's like a good? kind of like a fajita, actually. <laughs> what what is what is this stuff in here? The what? Paneer. How, what's the white stuff? Paneer, paneer, made out of milk. It's called paneer, paneer. It's, it's like cheese? Yeah. So we said goodbye to Om, and he helped us out a, an amazing time. Last night we would have been completely lost without him on where to go. We stayed at his house. Today he came out with us all day, and we ended up going to the everywhere you saw. It was just like awesome. And so thank you, Om. Thank you a ton. So over the past couple of days, we've been sending text messages on Facebook looking for a group of climbers to meet up with to show us some areas around here to climb. And someone said to meet them up with them at the gym right now. So that's where we're headed. We took this little, they call them autos here, but I think like generally world renowned, they're more known as tuk-tuks. Uh, so we're in one of those and we're on our way to the rock climbing gym, which is stoked because I'm excited to do a little bit of playing around. Poor brothers are from there, eh? Yeah, you, you meet there. We just got uh, climbing a little in the gym here. We're with Chitra over here. <laughs> We're going for a little drive. Sunday we are going to one of these sport, sport climbing places. Okay. See how good. If you want to join, then you're most welcome. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. How's it called? 